I had uh, two different people send me this article here. I'm not going to go through it and read it because it's just same old, same old. Um, 20 years, 700 victims, Southern Baptist sexual abuse spreads to, as leaders resist reforms. It goes down through here and you get into all this different stuff. Different stories of women coming out saying how they were molested by uh, Southern Baptist pastors. And I know people are going to say, well, it's not the same as an independent fundamental Baptist. Yeah, but there's plenty of it that goes on in the IFB system. And more and more is going to come out. And ironically, uh, nearly three years ago, right here, May 27th, 2016, um, I talked about this. And I said, I'm going to give you a little prophecy. Listen to what I said here. Uh-huh. Yeah. We need to get away from these church buildings. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to give you a prophecy of the future. Uh, the Lord's been revealing this to me more and more, and that is I believe that the devil is going to bring down the remaining King James only uh, Baptist, Bible Baptist type buildings, church buildings. I believe they're going to come down. I believe that they already are. Uh, now I go into talking about some things. I was talking about the whole thing of the perversion that I saw in church buildings growing up and how that I've I've seen so much cover up over the years and it's only going to get worse. Um, God's never been for these church buildings. Um, there's no scripture at all to support these things. And like I said in this video nearly three years ago, um, the whole church building concept comes from the pagans. Uh, the Catholics took pagan uh, Greek Parthenons and they put Egyptian obelisks on top. They call it a steeple today and they Christianized paganism um, and then you try to worship the Lord in there that's why there's all kinds of perversion sex perversion problems in these places uh, it's only going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and uh, I mean it's just there's no point in even reading the articles it's just it's the same thing as the Catholic Church because see the Baptist Church the Methodist the Lutheran the Episcopalian whatever they're all just daughters of the harlot mother the Roman Catholic Church and that's why I've said for many years to get out of these things. Um, you'll never ever be able to really have a right relationship with the Lord in these church buildings. Um, the very best Christians that, that might not fall into sin or whatever else, you're just wasting your time there. Um, and you're still going to have there's other people that are having all kinds of problems and you have to kind of keep your mouth shut. And you, it just, ugh. I mean, I was raised in church buildings and after being involved with them for many 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 years um, they're just not worth continuing going to uh, you need to get out of these church buildings start worshiping with um, other like-minded individuals if you can't find anybody then uh, spend some time with the Lord okay uh, don't go to church all right that's that's a, a concept that's not in scripture um, you're in church all the time so you worship the Lord seven days a week 24 hours well as long as you know you can't really worship him when you're sleeping but you know what I'm saying worship the Lord all the time uh, get rid of this mentality that that worshiping God is someplace where you have to go to and whatever else if you want to fellowship with other Christians that's absolutely fine get together study the Bible um, and here's a here's a real radical concept or you know witness to people lost people and if they get saved then you go and you just you disciple them what a radical concept you know so just wanted to make that video real quickly just it's so sickening to, to see all this perversion and everything else but not very surprising